out to help us celebrate 240 years of American independence. The American Revolution began in 1775, and Thomas Jefferson first began writing the Declaration of Independence in June of 1776. A draft of the Declaration was delivered to the Second Continental Congress on July 2nd, the day that they declared independence. But the Declaration of Independence itself wasn't fully signed until August 2nd, and it wouldn't hit King George's inbox for many, many months in November later. This chronology is significant because July 4th actually marks the Second Continental Congress, the day that they approved the actual text of the Declaration of Independence. By calling July 4th Independence Day, we honor the boldness of our founders. But we could just as easily honor their wisdom by thinking of this day as Democracy Day. Our two nations, America and Austria, were born out of vastly different experiences, but out of the same desire for freedom and for self-determination. I'm grateful for your friendship, and I'm grateful that we can share this day together. I just wanted to say thank you indeed to uh, all of our colleagues um, who are here with us today, who are engaged in the hard, day-to-day, -day, literally never-ending work of creating something like a real international community. And we are so grateful to have the partnership that we have in the people assembled here. We are grateful to Europe for the example that you set in the world and for your joint efforts with us to building a more peaceful and prosperous one.